Hi everybody. Welcome back to Robin's Recipe Remix. Today I want to talk about Trim Healthy Mom. This is a plan that I, I chose to use for me to lose weight. Now, I have listened to a lot of questions and concerns on Facebook. A lot of people that use Trim Healthy Mom don't understand the basics of what the blend is, how much carbs can they have, how much sugar can they have, what can they have. Well, today I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you the essentials that you need that are Trim Healthy Mama friendly to start with. So, what I'm going to encourage you, which is most important. Now, I realize there is a lot to this book, but you can go to very important parts of the book for example, where they talk about S's and E's. I, where they talk about S's and E's, for example, in this book. That is very important. Study the S's, study the E's. They will tell you what you can eat in S. They will tell you what you can eat in E to start with. And then you can take your time, go through the book, read it. There's a lot to take in. And I have to give props to my husband. He helped me understand a lot of this. But first, you have to have this book. And if you want to get on the plan right away, you're going to have to do two things. It's going to be all or none because you're going to go with sugar withdrawals. I had to go through Coke. I gave up Diet Coke. I went through sugar withdrawals. I had aches. I had pains. I had headaches because I went all in. You can't go half in or half out. You have to do it all. And you know what? Within a couple weeks, I can promise you, you will feel much better. So read the S, read the E's, and then take your time and you can go back and read the rest of the book. And that will show you how to get started. And then with me showing you what you can use that is Trim Healthy Mama Friendly, that will be a big help. So today, we're going to be doing something a lot of people ask about. It's called the Trim Healthy Mama Baking Blend. Now, it's in the new cookbook, Trim Healthy Mama Cookbook. I purchased it, great cookbook. Now, it is on page 20. Now, I'm gonna just note here, there's my notepad. Can I have my notepad, please? It is equal parts. First, let me say here, I am not a purist. I don't necessarily, organic does not work for me. I don't believe that organic is anything special for me. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying for me. So when I buy things, I buy things that are budget friendly, that are good quality, but not necessarily organic. So, to make the baking blend, it's equal parts. What you have oops, away, is almond flour. You have, now these are the brands that I bought. I bought Red Mill almond flour. I bought this at Sam's Club, actually, which was a very good price. I bought, now as I say, I'm not, I don't generally buy organic, but this happened to be a really good price for organic. I can take it or leave it, but it was a wonderful price. It's Anthony's uh, Premium Organic Coconut Flour, which was really good. And oh, another one. Bob's Red Milk Flaxseed Meal. Flaxseed, yeah, oh, golden, excuse me, golden flaxseed meal. And this one, is nature's oat fiber. It looks like nut nature's. I, I, I'm new not, naturals. Oh, new naturals, thank you. Oat fiber. Now, if you're looking, if you're a family that's looking, or a family that has a tight budget, Trim Healthy Mama recommends that you can leave out oat fiber. Because oat fiber, or almond, excuse me, almond flour is expensive. So you can leave this out if you can't afford it. And you can just use these three ingredients in your blend. Now, Trim Healthy Mama, now Scott wrote this down so I could understand how to pronounce it. 
In Trim Healthy Mama, they put two things that I do not. They put glucom... Glucominin. Thank you. And collagen peptides. I believe that if I'm eating healthy and I'm following pretty close to what they're saying, I don't need those things in here. Doesn't mean they're not great, they're just not for me. So I don't put those in my baking blend. I have great results without them. And you know, one of my videos, I will show you how I bake with this stuff. But right now for me, I do not put those two extra things in my baking. But I do put all these four things. Now, the ratio to all these is equal. So, let me show you what I mean. Let me get this mess out of the way. So, let me just reiterate. You need to buy Trim Healthy Mama, the original cookbook, to learn all you need to do to be successful. That's important. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, my husband and I, we use cups because it's messy. It's all equal measures. I do two cups of everything at a time because we use a lot of baking blend. Oh, my oil's empty, so we're good. <laughs> okay, now you can see I have just about a cup here of Red Mills almond flour. Another cup. So Bob's done. Now we're using Anthony's coconut flour. And now Anthony's is the, the coconut flour. Actually, let me say this. The Bob's oatmeal flour, almond flour, excuse me, is very coarse. It's very coarse texture. But the coconut flour, you can see it's very, very fine. Um, the almond flour by Anthony. So now, this makes our two cups. Now, Bob again, golden flax seed. You cannot take flax seed and just grind it up in a food processor and expect it to be flaxseed meal. There are two different things altogether. It's similar, but using a food processor, the heat is not good for the meal. Thank you, very helpful. That's my husband, Scott. So, I would suggest buy flaxseed meal for yourself. Now, my husband says we probably have two cups left. We've been using it a lot. So, I yeah, he might be right. I might have two cups. There's one. Oh, yeah, he's on the ball today. All right, two cups. And honey, we probably got about a cup left. So, Bob's Red Mill Golden Flaxseed Meal. Buy it if you can. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't know a whole lot about oak fiber. My husband does, well, I know that Trim Healthy Mama recommended it. So I use it. And all I know is it works well in my baking. I'm not an expert on how all these different nuts and flowers work. All I know is they're good for me. I bake with them and I have great results. So I'm not going to stand up here and say, I'm an expert. I'm not. I'm not going to lie. But I know that everything works out well when I bake with it. So here, oh, a little too much. I'm not being... Okay, so my last cup, my second cup of my oat fiber. So, now I put it in, out, I put it in a container like this. So one of the things that you have to do, if you want to just be able to mix it out of, take it out of a container, you have to mix really, 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 really well and get it really, really um, well blended. Because if you put it in a container and it's not well mixed, you're gonna have bits and pieces. So take the opportunity to mix this around, like really, really mix it for a couple minutes, and then you can, once it's well mixed, you can go ahead and put it in any container you want. So stay with me, I'll be back in a minute, and we will go ahead and I will introduce you to other products that you can use. Okay guys, welcome back. Now here are some of the things that I use to make my life easier on Trim Healthy Mama. Let's start with jams. These are all fruit jams. 
These can be used on an S or an E. Now, I bought these at Costco. I had three. Actually, there was strawberry, blackberry, and raspberry. BJ's Wholesale. B oh, yes. BJ BJ's Wholesale is where you can buy these. You can buy them at Walmart. Oh, and Walmart. Thank you. And you can use these S or E, just so you know. Okay. Almond milk. There's two kinds. We prefer the black diamond. There's no aftertaste. It's just wonderful flavor. Now there's two flavors. There's the original or vanilla. Now I buy them both unsweetened, of course. I use this for everything. You can use this S or E. Everything I'm going to show you is S or E. Almond milk, S or E, wonderful. Cooking, cereal, anything you want. Okay, sugar-free maple syrup. S or E. I just happened, or Scott just happened to buy Maple Grow Farm. Anything that's low, low calorie, sugar free, you can use for maple syrup. He just happened to buy this. Wonderful thing. I use it pancakes, sometimes I use it on cakes, whatever you want. Okay, I bought this at PJ's. Their brand of low fat grade A Greek yogurt, plain. You can use this on cakes. You can use to mix this and place the sour cream. You could put this on fruit with a little bit of your um, sweetener. I mean, you can use this to cook with. Great price at either Sam's or BJ's. You can even buy it at Walmart if you prefer. Now I must say I am disappointed with Heinz. <laughs> this is the only sugar-free ketchup in the market that I have found. And look how tiny this is. This is only 13 ounces. Okay, but like anything, you need things in moderation. Uh, Cause there is, still, oh, there's not a lot of fat or carbs in this, but you're good, but still moderation. No sugar. No sugar added, thank you. Again, S or E. Again, it goes back to me not being a purist. I love pink salt. I bought this at Costco in Orlando. I only like to use pink salt. This is the Himalayan pink salt finely grind, grain. So it dissolves better in your cooking if it's more finer. This is what I use. You want to use the stuff that doesn't have other chemicals in it? That's your choice. But for me, that's not an issue. I love this. Again, S or E, cooking. All right, this was BJ's. The Egg Land's Best Egg Whites, S or E, buy them. My husband actually said next time he's gonna buy these at Sam's Club because, excuse me, they were a little cheaper. So take your pick wherever you wanna buy them, but they're S or E. Now a lot of people wonder about flatbread and about um, pitas and which brands you can use. Now I'm going to tell you, Joseph's, this is their flatbread. One day I will show you how to make wonderful crackers out of these, but that's for another day. So you can use the Joseph's flatbread and it has like only one point gram of fat and only eight grams of carbs. Oh, the net carbs is less. Oh, net carbs is less. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I'm learning. So this is Trim Healthy Mama recommended. Joseph. So this is a flatbread. And this <laughs> is a pita. Good thing we're eating this. Um, this is a pita. And again, you can have either or. It's Trim Healthy Mama recommended. Again, S or E. Okay. Now. When I come back in a second, we are going to go to the E stuff that you can have. Guys, welcome back. I made an error mentioning carbs and fat, and that's what I meant about my husband helping me. Now, Scott's just going to give you a very quick rundown of how to determine how many carbs and fats you can have. Go ahead, honey. With the particular with this flatbread and pitas, we, the carbs you're concerned about are the net carbs. If you'll see here, 
The total carbs listed is eight. I'm gonna try to find it. <laughs> and below it says dietary fiber is four grams. So the net carbs, you basically subtract the dietary fiber away from the total carbs, which leaves four grams of net carbs, and that's what you're concerned about as far as the health benefits go, because the dietary fiber affects your blood sugar differently than regular carbs. Okay. It's the same over here with the pita. The total carbs is nine, Dietary fiber is four, so you subtract the four from the nine, so the net carbs is five. Okay, welcome back guys. Now we're gonna deal with E only stuff. Dole peaches. This is 100% fruit juice. There are zero fats, zero, or actually nine carbohydrates, 18 sugars, but it's all natural. No, there, no added sugar. No added sugar. So you are welcome to have this. No added sugar. You know, I have this with fat-free cottage cheese. It's delicious. Okay, E only. I love grapefruit, but I love the regular grapefruit, not the sugar-free. But my husband loves this, and this is no sugar added red grapefruit so you can have this with an e no peeling required thank you yes no peeling required my husband just opens it and goes to town right out of the fridge and i'm not even one of these wives that bitch about it so e only okay other e only's fat free sour cream I find most places you can really only buy it like Walmart and things like that, like BJ, Sam's Club, don't really sell the fat free generally. You can use this for E only, but I just wanna make note, which actually I will do that when I get to the S's, but fat free sour cream, if you want sour cream and you're eating an E, you can only have fat free. Okay. Cottage cheese. Love cottage cheese. My husband hates it. Only time he likes it is when it's in a lasagna. Again, if you're eating an E meal and you want to put some cottage cheese on a meat or a fruit or a veggie or just to eat it as a snack with a little bit of sweetener, this is, or yes, with your dull peaches or no sugar added peaches, cottage cheese, E's only. My husband's a genius. That's, he's very smart. Okay, Smucker's Natural Peanut Butter. Now, I think we bought this at BJ's. Now, again, all natural peanut butter, nothing else, just peanut butter. Now, my husband came up with this brilliant idea, store it upside down. Because normally, when you have it this way, all your oils, come to the top so when you open it you have to try to stir if you can see there's not a lot of oils in there you have to stir and stir to try to get peanut butter now because it sits in the cap you have to be careful opening it but you have peanut butter right there you don't have to stir through oils as long as you store it upside down now remember only E all right Ladies, there's been a lot of talk about protein powder on Trim Healthy Mamas. I don't know anything about protein powder. My husband read, he looked for what was the least, or was the best for my sugar, and that was it. That's what he looked for. I assume less carbs, less fat. That's what he looked for for me, especially my diabetes. And we bought this at Sam's Club. Pure protein. It's great. It has a wonderful flavor. You know what, unless you're, again, into, I don't know, if you care about what's in your protein, like if you're more stickler or more of a purist or more really organic, you know, I don't know what's out there for you. I'm sorry, but I do know that I will buy almost any protein out there. And again, pure protein, which is this brand, E only. Now, there's been a big discussion 
on sprouted grain bread. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I have read a lot of people chatting about bread, talking where they can buy it. This is very hard to come by. We were buying sprouted gay bread at um, Lucky's. But I heard people chatting about getting it at Aldi's. I never thought anything of it. So Scott said to me today, honey, Aldi's has this. Now I've never tried this, so I don't know. But I will tell you, if you purchase bread that has flour, enriched flour, rye flour, wheat flour, generally those are not acceptable for Trim Healthy Mama. Sprouted grain only. Anything that says flour of any kind outside of sprouted grain, it's generally, you're not allowed to have it on Trim Healthy Mama. So. Wherever you find sprouted grain, some people say Trader Joe's, I found ours at Lucky, some find it at Aldi's, personal choice, wherever you want it. I will be back and I will discuss some S with you. Hey right, guys, before we discuss the E's, I want to make note that I made a mistake. Everything I said about the peanut butter is correct. The only problem I made is peanut butter is not an E. It's an S, because it's all fat. So, S, no E, okay? Now, if you notice, I had a lot of E stuff out. People have a hard time finding E stuff. Well, I showed you a lot of E stuff you could have, but if you notice right here, I don't have any S, because most people generally don't have a hard time finding S. But I'm just gonna do a quick rundown which is Trim Mama Healthy. I'm gonna read it to you so if my eyes are not on you, forgive me, but I'm just gonna quickly run off what you can have for S's. So, I'm only doing dairy for now. So, butter, who doesn't love butter? All cheeses, hard cheeses included, soft cheeses, like cream cheese, um, one third less cream cheese, um, both full fat, reduced fat forms of cottage cheese you can have, um, ricotta cheese, feta cheese, um, kefir you can have, plain Greek yogurt we talked about, um, half and half, heavy cream, sour cream, but you can have the full fat on S. So, you know, anything that you want to have, you can have the full fat. Full fat cheese, full fat sour cream, full fat anything on S you can have. So now, let's talk about something that is a big debate. Actually, first let's get to this. I drink oolong tea. A lot of people ask about oolong tea. I see a lot of people look for organic oolong tea. I don't, I don't need organic. I buy this brand, Food Joy. You can actually get it on Amazon. Oh, and before I forget, all those um, flowers I showed you, you can buy all those on Amazon for the blend, just, just so I can mention that before I forget. I bought Food Joy on Amazon, or you can get it on Amazon. It's oolong tea, nothing in it. It's great. You, and should, you, you should be able to find it at a local Asian market. That's right. Actually, that's where my husband buys it. And you can have it as light to as dark as you like. Let me actually show you something. Here, actually for me this morning, actually no, I, let me do it this way because I actually, this is still soaking. I drink tons of oolong tea because I'm not a big fan of water, but I realize this is all, this is all water. So this is my oolong tea. Forget the packaging, it's oolong tea. For a jug this size, I use four tea bags and one nice tablespoon of sweetener when we get to that. So for me, doesn't need, oolong tea doesn't need to be organic. And whichever oolong tea I find is reasonable, I buy because I go through tons of it. Now, sugar, okay. I started using Truvia because that was the first thing that I learned about. It's a wonderful flavor, but this is the only size it comes in. Truvia does not have a baking 
blend. Well, they do, but it's Truvia slash regular sugar. So I can't have that. So I came across Pure. Is that what it's called? Pure. This is an organic steaming blend. This is um, erythritol and stevia. So this is on your list of things that you can have. And I cook with this, I bake with this, and it's amazing. There is no bad aftertaste in this. Now, if there was, I wouldn't use it. Truvia is also wonderful, I'm not gonna lie. It's also wonderful, but it's not economical to cook with. So again, you can use something that has um, stevia and ethanol. Did I say that right? Erythritol. Erythritol in it, mixed. Or you can use pure stevia, whichever floats your boat. I don't like the taste of pure stevia, but whatever you want. But all I know is these both taste delicious and they're on my list. So that covers everything today of things that I hope will be helpful to you. For people starting, people that are on it, I hope I helped you. Now, stick with me in a short time. I'm going to show you how to make something that most people don't think they can have. We are going to make a chicken pot pie, trim healthy mom style. Catch me back later. Thank you for joining me on Robin's Recipe Remix.